you must be watching and listening to this video. Okay, if you're not listening, you're not getting the most out of it. So it's then it's like a waste of your time. Okay, um, I have a way to know if you're listening. And so you're not going to receive credit if you don't, because I really want you to make sure that you get the most out of this. Okay, if you need headphones, please let me know, right? If that's an issue, let me know. And that's a problem we can solve. But you got to be listening. You're going to need all the space on this paper. So go ahead and put your heading all the way up here. This is on equations. Okay, I'm going to do some examples over here. And then you're going to do some practice problems over on this side. Okay. So let's start with example number one. This is only a one-step equation, but this is an area where a lot of people really um, tend to make mistakes. This right here says negative 4 times x. This is multiplication. This is not subtraction right here. This is negative 4 and the number negative 4 being multiplied by x. So to solve it, we do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide by negative 4. Okay, now in this case, this is, this is x is being multiplied by negative 4 and divided by negative 4. So we get just 1x, right? Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, just write x. Positive divided by negative is a negative. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay, now you're going to pause the video. This is practice number one. Okay, so right now you're going to pause the video. Pause. And practice. Okay, I'm going to give all the answers at the end. So that way you can check your work and go back and make any corrections you need to make. All right, notice I'm not leaving a line because you're going to run out of space if you do. All right, here is example number two. And we're starting on the simpler equations and just working our way up. Okay, here I have two operations. This is a two-step equation. I have division and I have addition. Okay, now whenever I have division or multiplication and addition or subtraction, I deal with the addition and subtraction first. I work in the opposite order as order of operations. The opposite order as order of operations. Okay, so in order of operations, I do addition and subtraction last. But with equations, I do addition and subtraction first. 13 minus 8 is 5. Now, this is division. This is x divided by 3. So if I want x by itself, I have to multiply by 3. Okay. That's x equals 15. Here is practice problem number 2. Okay, and you notice I squeeze in the work a little bit here to use one less line. I'm using a composition book, so my pages are kind of small. But for me, I'm going to be a little bit tight on space for this. Just because equations take up a few lines to solve. Here's your third example. Okay, now here's where people get confused. Let me adjust myself here. Here's where people get confused. I just said that you do addition and subtraction first, so you might think to subtract 9 first. But here's the thing. Like I said, it's reverse order of operations. Remember when we talked about order of operations, this fraction bar is a grouping symbol. So this, this is basically in parentheses. So if we're talking about reverse order of operations, well, this stuff in parentheses, that would have been first in order of operations because it's in that grouping symbol. So that makes it last when we solve equations. So instead of doing dealing with this x plus 9 first, we're actually going to deal with this divided by 2 first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 2, and I end up with x plus 9 equals 10. Okay, and then I'm subtracting 9 from both sides, saying x equals 1. Okay, and I'm always using inverse operations. Here is your practice problem number three. After each example, please pause and do the practice problem. If you turn in your work and you haven't done the practice problems, you're getting a zero, right? The whole purpose is that you're taking the opportunity to get the examples and you're doing the practice problems. All right. Here is number four. Uh, 
groups. Five times x minus two minus three times two x minus seven equals 15. Okay, so this is long, but we know how to do all this. We're just gonna go step by step. First, we're gonna distribute. Okay, and I actually have two opportunities to distribute here. So that's, I'm gonna multiply this and this. And the reason is, these aren't like terms, so we can't actually do any subtraction here. So we're just trying to get rid of these parentheses another way. Five times x is five x. Five times negative two is negative 10. Now, careful, this is a negative three times two, a negative three times negative seven. So negative three times two is negative six x. Negative times negative is positive. Three times seven is 21. And all of that equals 15. Now I'm gonna combine like terms. This has an x and this has an x. So those are like terms. That's five minus six, which is negative one x. You can just write negative x or negative one x, either way. And now this negative 10 and positive 21 are also like terms. So this is uh, basically 21 minus 10, which is 11. And that still equals 15. Okay, and now I have a two-step equation. I have multiplication, right? This is negative one being multiplied by x, and I have addition. I'm gonna get rid of the addition first. Negative one x equals four. Okay, now, this x is being multiplied by negative one, so I'm gonna divide by negative one. And I get x equals negative four. Okay, here is your practice problem. And again, you should be pausing after you copy the problem. Pause and do it. Okay, so make sure you pause, do that practice problem. Here it is. Okay, here is your last example problem. Okay, again, we have some distributive property here, but the big difference here is that there is variables on both sides of this equation. Let's deal with the distributive property first and then we'll get to what we do with variables on both sides. This is negative four times two. Negative times positive is negative. Four times two is eight. Negative times negative is positive. Four times one is four. Okay, now this right here, this is x. This is one x, right? So now, I need to move the x's and make sure they're all on one side of the equation. So I have two options. I could say, I don't want x's on this side anymore. And I could subtract one x from both sides. That's one option. Or I could say, mm, I don't want x's on this side anymore. And I could add eight x to both sides. Either one of those options is just as correct. For me, I try to always make my numbers positive if possible. So here I'm thinking if I subtract one x, I'll have negative nine x. Look, I'm gonna choose instead to add eight x. Why? Eh, just because that makes this a nice positive number. Now I need x by itself. So I'm gonna add five to both sides. Now this is x being multiplied by nine, so I'm gonna divide by nine. And I get one equals x, or x equals one, same. Okay, and here is your last practice problem for you to try and check. Okay, for all your practice problems, please do the work and box your answer. And I'm gonna show you the answers right now to the practice problems for you to check, okay? But when you submit it, I should see all the work and the answers boxed. Okay, if the work isn't shown, that's not acceptable. I'm giving you the answers. It's not the answers I care about. It's the work.